In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys why I chose to go to the University of Oregon. So if that's something you're interested in, then keep on watching. Academics. Some people have definitely thought I was weird for choosing University of Oregon because I got into schools such as UC Berkeley, UC Davis, and University of Washington, which are all very highly ranked schools for academics. However, I've been told many times that college is not like high school, and even if you took a lot of AP classes like me or did very, very well in all of your classes, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're ready for the rigor of a top university. I am also a very anxious person, and the idea of going to UO, where I would fit right in academically with all of the other students, made me feel a lot more relaxed about the whole transition to college, which is already very stressful on top of all of the academics. Even though I knew that I would probably be able to handle the rigor of a UC, I also knew that I would be a lot more stressed going into it, fearing that I would be not as smart as the other students and at the bottom of the class, just struggling to catch up and get everything done on time and all of the really hard classes. It just made me all really stressed out. And even though I think I could handle it, Knowing that I could handle the rigor of classes at the UO made me feel a lot better. Also, the University of Oregon only has 23,000 students. And I say only, even though that's a pretty big amount, because some of the UCs even have double that amount of students, which is honestly pretty crazy. And the University of Oregon has the least amount of students in the schools that I applied to. And this means that because there's less students, that there's less competition for opportunities at the school, such as internships, volunteering, and studying abroad, and so, so much more. So that made me feel a lot more relieved about going to the UO. The campus. The University of Oregon campus is just beautiful. It has thousands and thousands of trees, which look amazing in every season. And I know that even though I haven't gone to school there yet, because I went there in the winter for a trip and a tour, and I went there on a day trip in the summer, and even in both seasons, even in winter, the trees look absolutely mesmerizing, and it's just gorgeous. I also really like the look of the brick buildings, and the school is also historic, founded in 1876, so the fact that it's historic makes the whole feel of the campus that much cooler. The word historic might turn people away because they just associate that with old, but even though the campus is historic, they are constantly making improvements, such as the whole new night campus for the sciences and the super awesome Hayward Field, which I cannot wait to see. The school is also one of the most well-kept, clean, and environmentally friendly universities, so that is really cool despite it being old. There is even a huge park on campus with the Willamette River that runs right through it. And to get to the football games, you actually go across the river on a bridge and through the Alton Baker Park, which is honestly huge and really cool with a bunch of trails that you can go down hiking with your friends or with a bike, all that stuff. And you go through that park to get to the football games and it's just so cool. And when I went there, the few times that I've gone, it's honestly been surreal. Welcoming environment. When I went to the school in the winter to take a tour, there were a lot of students currently going to the school which weren't even a part of our tour or anything like that, just telling us how awesome the UFO is and why we should go there. And they just had so much school spirit and enthusiasm about their school, which made me really happy and just made me want to go there even more. And even with the students that didn't talk to us during our tour, I found that no students seemed like they didn't want to be there or they weren't having a good time 
Most students that I saw were walking with a group of friends, just talking and having fun. And with that, all of the staff were very, very nice and willing to help me find my way around campus or answer any other questions I had about the school in general. And even about the town of Eugene, like I remember I asked one of the staff members what her favorite ice cream place was in Eugene and she answered that question in a few more places and things like that. So that was really cool and they were all just so nice and willing to help me out. The University of Oregon is also famous for its school spirit, so I was so excited to go to a school where people actually cheered their football team on and wore school gear and colors all the time and supported their school everywhere they went. It just felt like a very awesome environment to be in. And another statistic for you guys, the UO Austin Stadium is actually one of the loudest stadiums in the country proven by fact so that's super cool to know that everyone cheers their football teams on and shows a lot of school spirit you all wanted me there i got a lot of mail from the university of oregon after i was accepted and it was unique because it wasn't just mail that said this is why you should go to our school and this is why our school is so great and blah 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 it wasn't a bunch of that it was Mel telling me why they wanted me there, and they even sent me mail that catered to my specific interests, such as they sent me some booklets for STEM. So that was really cool because I'm in a STEM major in biology, and they also sent me a top scholars packet, so that was pretty cool, and another really huge booklet talking all about the different activities and a map of campus and other statistics about their campus which was really cool and it wasn't just our academics are highly ranked and our school's amazing it was stuff that students actually said and and things like that that just made me feel welcome with all of the other mail that the university sent me they also sent me a box which says be a duck on the back, so that's pretty cute, of VR glasses that I could use to see the campus anytime from an app on my phone. So during quarantine, that was super cool because I couldn't travel to the campus. So I was able to explore the campus right from my phone and with these VR glasses. And this is even before I committed to the school. So all of my friends thought this was so, so cool. I also got accepted into the Clark Honors College at the University of Oregon, and although I in the end decided not to participate in the Honors College, it made me feel like they really wanted me to go to their school, so that was very exciting for me. And University of Oregon also granted me a great scholarship, so that really helped me to know that the university definitely wanted me at their school and that I would feel very welcomed. Close to family. My family and I actually moved to Oregon from California in May, so I knew that the University of Oregon would be a great choice for me if I wanted to stay relatively close to my family. And also, the school isn't super close necessarily to where I live because it's about an hour and a half to two hours away from my home right now, so I think that is a perfect distance to where my family could come visit if, I want, if they wanted to, and I could go back home if I wanted to, but my family wouldn't necessarily be visiting me all the time. So I just thought that was a perfect distance for me to be away at college, but still be able to come home if I really needed to. I am also very, very close to my family, so being relatively close to them was pretty important for me when deciding where to go to college. A new place. I've lived in California in the Bay Area my whole life and my parents have lived in California their whole lives too, so going to the University of Oregon sounded like a really fun and cool new experience for me to try. Just going to a state that I've never been to before just sounded really cool and now that I'm living here I know I made the right choice in that. And when I've told people that I'm going to the school they've told me oh, well, none of your friends from high school will be there. Isn't that kind of sad or weird? And honestly, I'm pretty fine with my friends from high school not being there, even though I love them very much. 
they are going to the schools that they want to go to and I'm going to the school that made me the happiest and I'm pretty good at meeting new people so honestly that didn't bother me too much. Coming from California, I was pretty concerned about the weather in Oregon and in the summer, it's honestly pretty great weather right now. We haven't had a lot of rain in the summer since we've been here, so that's pretty cool. And you may think that California weather is so sunny and so much better, and honestly it's not. Where I lived in the Bay Area, it was so, so windy all the time, and even if the weather said it was 85 degrees, it was windy, so it was cold, and honestly not nearly as good as the weather I've seen here. And the rain is what makes the state of Oregon so beautiful. So I was very willing to deal with the rain and have all of this beautiful nature around me. Felt like home. Even though Oregon was a completely new state that I had never been in before, before we moved here in May, the University of Oregon felt like home as soon as I stepped onto campus. This honestly was a very big factor in my decision because the university that I decided to go to would be the place that I would call home for the next four years of my life. So I wanted to make the decision that felt right for me and a place that I felt really comfortable in. Not too many schools made me feel that way and that's one of the big reasons that I gravitated towards UO over other schools. Even UC Berkeley with its amazing academics and great rankings, it didn't feel like home to me when I toured the campus. I just didn't like the city that surrounded it and it just wasn't for me. For other people that would have been a great choice but for me it just wasn't and so that's why I didn't pick that school. As you can probably tell I have no regrets about choosing the University of Oregon as the college I will be going to this year for all of these reasons and more and I am so so excited to attend the University of Oregon in the fall. And that was why I chose to go to the University of Oregon. If you have any more questions about how I made my college decision or anything else, feel free to let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more of this kind of content. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.